What an informative UN virtual tour. Good morning. My name is Alice Rose Hensley, WMS NGO Liaison and 2021 NGO Conference Committee Chair. And I will narrate an historical glance of the WMS NGO affiliation with the United Nations. So let's get started. President Lucy Hughes became the first WMS president back in 1944. And the mission work continues. The Women's Missionary Society of the African Methodist Episcopal Church is an international faith-based non-governmental organization, NGO, granted special consultative category two status in partnership with the United Nations Economic and Social Council. Connectional WMS President Wilhelmina Lawrence activated her dreams into reality of broadening global outreach for the Women's Missionary Society. Therefore, she applied for membership with the Board of the United Nations. After days of praying and waiting, Wilhelmina heard the Women's Missionary Society's name call, and right away she went to the floor of the United Nations, and not one country voted against the application of the Women's Missionary Society of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. The Women's Missionary Society has maintained this status since 1985. Praise God. Initially, the NGO representation to the United Nations came from the first district to ensure attendance at weekly briefings of the UN. Consequently, in 1985, President Lawrence appointed Mrs. Flora Eastman as the first WMS NGO main representative to the United Nations. Mrs. Flora Eastman retired after 13 years of service. Then President Dorothy Peck appointed Mrs. Carolyn Scavella as the next main WMS NGO representative to the United Nations and Mrs. Lorraine Dickerson as the alternate representative. And the work continued under Ms. Patricia Bradley, Mrs. Jacqueline Robinson, Mrs. Sean Ross, who is our current main WMS NGO representative to the UN, Mrs. Alicia Marriott, and Evangelist Carolyn Clemens are our alternate WMS NGO reps to the United Nations. Our current youth representative is Reverend Eddie Scott, and our past youth representative was Ms. Corey Beeman. Here we see the magnificent interior of the United Nations Assembly Hall in New York City. Mrs. Carolyn Scavella and Mrs. Lorraine Dickerson were trailblazers for others to follow as they expanded the presence of the African Methodist Episcopal Church Women's Missionary Society as NGO representation at the United Nations. To God be the glory. And now we have a glance of the birth and succession of the annual NGO conferences. First, Dr. Wilhelmina Lawrence initiated the WMS NGO status in the UN in 1985. Dr. Dolores Kennedy Williams continued the work as a priority, holding 
the first Connectional NGO Conference in October in New York City. Dr. Dorothy Adams Peck introduced the Society to its first partnership of agencies within the UN. Dr. Jamesina Evans engaged a second partnership with the World Health Organization and the Fistula Campaign. Dr. Shirley Hopkins Davis continued to support the annual NGO conferences and the Women's Missionary Society NGO affiliation with the United Nations. Dr. Shirley Kaysen Reed built on the legacy of the NGO, co hosting a presentation at the floor of the United Nations in partnership with Bread for the World and working within the Millennium Developmental Goals. Dr. Deborah Taylor King, our current international president, continues the steady growth of the NGO. And that is why we are engaged in the 32nd Annual NGO Conference, the first NGO virtual conference and the first virtual experience walking and advocating to lift up the human rights under the progressive leadership of Dr. T Deborah Taylor King. And we salute all of the servant leadership of Connectional WM presidents since 1985 in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Each has done great work. To God be the glory. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you scenes from the past annual NGO conferences with UN presenters and AME Connectional presenters. We get a glimpse of the district liaisons. And of course, we have missionaries across the globe convening and lifting up the sustainable developmental goals of the United Nations as we do our mission work. We also have a view of the NGO logo, non-governmental organization, as you know, the Women's Missionary Society is a non-governmental organization affiliated with the United Nations. Recently, Leazan Diane Battle created this beautiful NGO logo. I have enjoyed sharing with you the past and the present development of the Women's Missionary Society as an affiliate with the United Nations since 1985. And I hope that you have gained a better understanding of what the NGO is about. Also in our next segment, we will continue to talk about the relationship between NGO and the United Nations. Please keep in mind that this is God's commission, our mission, and our calling. Thank you so much.